What is up, everybody? Azar Real here, and welcome to another evening of Upland Scripture and Scripture. Uh, August 2018, August 18th, uh, 20th, and I intended to do this update yesterday, but last few days ago, but, you know, with my work and everything else, it's really was coming a little late. So I'm, you know, starting to get back in my habits of doing channel updates on a weekly basis. Um, you know, it's the second time I've did one in a row in quite some time due to the fact things are so hectic for me right now. So let me give you a rundown of everything that I'll be talking about in this uh, ADS Play uploading schedule because I kind of want to touch base on things that I spent on last week as well as everything going on this week. All that music is not to hear it anyway, but nevertheless, um, so touching on everything I'll be talking about. First, I'm going to be talking about the games I'm going to be playing this week. Uh, as most of you know, um, I'm well on my way to finishing some games and getting ready to send them back to Gamefly and preparing for some other games that are coming out uh, later on in this month within like the next couple of weeks, actually. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to that. Also, the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Got some good news about the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Um, guys can ready to, uh, you know, just get ready to, um, some good updates about that. Also, um, I also want to talk about the GoFundMe that I made, uh, a while back that some of you know about, you can see the link underneath the video description. Um, it's just to describe what it's about and just to give you my, my opinions and pros and cons about going you know, crowdfunding and things like that, and donations and all that, you know, it, it's a, a toss-up, but we're going to talk about it. And um, I also want to touch on my future plans for the channel that I kind of spoke on a little bit last week, and uh, just kind of give you more, I guess you say, more of a clear description as to what I'm going to go about doing when it comes to preparing it to do this full time. That is like the end goal with this. And, um, First thing, let's get started. All the games that I have right now. So, as you guys know, I've been vigorously playing uh, Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. That has been like, it's been a minute since I've been into a game like that. And what's so crazy is that this game didn't get any major promotion whatsoever. You know, I think it was just brought to Japan, and here it is. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't promote this game at all in the United States, to my knowledge. I didn't see any commercials for it. I didn't see any advertisements for it. It was just released. You know, it was brought over from Japan, and it was just released, you know, into the United States. So, it definitely has my attention. If you into RPG, live action, uh, like, you know, um, into like turn-based RPG, it has more of like a grandier feel to it. Uh, if you're familiar with that game series, then... That game, I, I do encourage you to give this game a try. At first, you know, it starts off slow, but the more you get into it, the more you start figuring out, you know, like the combat system and, you know, the, how to use fairies and, you know, like the resonance and basically everything that goes with the game. You get more into it, you start enjoying it more. And I do like this game. I do honestly do like this game. It is a hidden gem, for sure. But I, I can't wait to see how the game and like so supposedly this game has like a, multiple endings or like a couple endings and um I'm eager to see if that's uh like if that's the game fight so I'm, I'm eager to see what um if that's about so um supposedly there's like a good and bad ending so I may have to do like a couple save files because I want to see both of them but uh yeah most definitely Star Ocean I'm, I'm getting ready to jump back into Star Ocean because it's been like a couple weeks since I played it but uh I'm almost finished with Fairy Fencer F so I may just you know, do whatever little bit I have left in Fairy Fencer F, send that back to Gamefly, and have that in time for some other games that are coming out, or which I'm going to talk about. But Star Ocean definitely is something I'm going to touch on this week. Uh, they have Deus X, Mankind Undivided, coming out next week. Um, and after that, we have Attack on Titan, uh, and Gaia Earth coming out. Games that I'm definitely interested in playing. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna finish Attack on Titan relatively fast. If, if that doesn't seem like a game that's gonna last this long, but most definitely, and honestly, add some content 
in there that wasn't in the, uh, the anime. So, so we'll see. Uh, how, how long that game lasts. I feel, I feel like I'm going to finish that game relatively quickly. Uh, not, not that much to offer with the combat of the game. If, if you start geeking out over the fact that, oh, it's an Attack on Titan game, and really think about it, the combat system, you know, obviously it's going to be repetitive, so that can get boring really quick. And there isn't too much they could do with the combat, considering that you're just going to be using the, you know, like the wires to like zip around and, you know, um, wrap up your hands to slice on the Titan's ankles and, you know, the weak spots on the back of their necks. If you watch the anime, you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, it, it's, it doesn't seem like the combat is going to be too far outside of that. So I can't really see, you know, this really being that exciting of a game, and I can't really see it that, I can't, I can't really see it lasting too long, so that's basically what I meant. Um, God Eater seems to be like that's going to be one of the games that I really want to, I'm really into, so I'm looking forward to that right there, so those two games definitely are, are what's next on the agenda after this. Now, um, let me type in my, uh, I definitely have to talk about that. Get the music on that back on. You know you guys can barely hear it still. Um, got something active in the background, so let me go on my channel. I can watch the anime. The Rock of the End, I was not going to explain. Guys, I'm up to part 27. Uh, I came a long way in like a short period of time. Basically, I didn't upload too much time. Uh, and also, I did a how to video prepared because uh, there are some, uh, some uh, monsters in the game that are difficult to find, and there's something uh, that you need to do in order to find those monsters. Like, press monsters in the game like that, for example, like the Pokemon and the Dr. Vine. In that video, I was having trouble finding some quest monsters in the game, and you need the help there. Um, also, let me see. on the Paragon, so Beta, it's known, I still gotta finish that, I still got a bunch of Overwatch, uh, matches I gotta upload, and like I said, I'm gonna jump back into Star Ocean, yeah, so you guys don't have to think about that, but I'm gonna hold up, I need to get back into that, I am behind on that game, uh, yeah, that's that, now, for the Supergirl channel, um, let me first look at the Dueling Network. Now, as you guys know, Dueling Network is been shut down. So, when this Dueling Channel does launch in September, um, that's when the next, I think, Bandless comes out. Uh, I said that I was going to I was going to chart the channel when the next Bandless, uh, when the next Bandless and the next update, that's when I'm going to do it. And I think the next one is in, in September. So, uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for that. But as far as, like, the band days and, you know, the band day events and all that, that's not, that's not possible anymore. Not in the Dueling Network Music Video Pro, um, but back up and running. Both of the games, and, you know, both of those are down until further notice. The fact that, you know, there was some, uh, in the stutter that was getting, given out or something happened. Um, that caused the website to be taken down for for the time being, or maybe even permanently. But for right now, it just seems like it's until further notice. So I can't see any fancy events or anything of that nature. So maybe unless there's some other, you know, online Yu-Gi-Oh game site that I didn't know about, and somebody can probably tell me about. But until then, you know, until these websites are back up, it's going to be harder to use gifts, especially.
como son como un mes la GoFundMe page you know, that's how much I'm going to do because I need to talk about this I don't know about that I had to pause the recording because the doorbell rang but um yeah so here's my thing when it comes to uh the GoFundMe first let me tell you what it's about the name of it is called Dream Job Break and basically this is my um how can I put it this is my way of trying to actually push forward towards doing this full time by getting the equipment that I need and uh, things like that. Also having money towards going towards, um, you know, going to uh, conventions and things like that to try to spread the channel, uh, the, the channel's popularity and notoriety. That way I can get more viewers to the channel. Because basically the way my the way it works is that the more views I get, the more money I get. That's basically how it works. So, one of the plans, as I just basically said, uh, uh, last week, was that, you know, I was putting forth a plan to try to get myself in a position where I can do this full time. You know, playing video games and doing what I do on this channel. And basically, living in California is very, you know, spicy, especially living in the area that I live in. So I was trying to move to maybe Southern California, maybe to try to, you know, housing is a lot cheaper down there, and, you know, things are more affordable. But, um, still, even with that, you know, really have to kick this channel into high gear in order for me to do that. So this GoFundMe is basically to help me jumpstart that goal and to maintain that goal. So one of my short-term goals for this channel was to try to at least pull five hundred dollars a month. You can get paid once a month on YouTube, and that's going to be like five thousand views per channel per per, per month. Per month, well, I say per channel, wow, per month. Yeah, at least five thousand views per month. And uh, you know, try to maintain that. That's like the first short-term goal. Ultimately, I'm gonna keep doing that and try to keep increasing the amount of money that I make. You know, but probably try to go up by 500 at least, and try to get it to where I can pull at, at the very least 5,000 a month from YouTube. That's my ultimate goal. But you know, it's difficult trying to do that when you don't have the equipment that you need in order to push the channel as far as you would like to push it and that's basically where this GoFundMe comes in it's to help speed up that process you know of getting the money that I need for like computers and you know capture cards and you know other equipment that I need cameras and things like that so that when I go to these places not only would I be able to promote my YouTube channel but I also be able to have videos to show you guys as well you know because the cell phone footage is only going to get you so far you know what I mean like you need full video and uh i'm just trying i'm not trying to get the most expensive things that's the reason why the goal is only 1800 I, I can manage my money pretty well but it's just trying to take that step towards doing this full time so that i can entertain you guys maybe even get a green screen in the background yeah i know, I know that maybe you know, like a, a green blanket might be able to do them just fine but you know to get a green screen you know you know, uh, do my ADS plays, my channel updates, like, in person, so you guys can see it, and live stream more often, you know, do things that I've been hesitant to do due to my, uh, hardware restraints, because I knew that my equipment wouldn't, wasn't able to handle it, even when I did live stream here and there, it still wasn't enough, so I'm trying to, that's the only reason I, I did the GoFundMe, because people said that they were going to help me, and, you know, this is now the opportunity to show that, but the thing about donation websites like this that I don't like is the fact that it's, it's like, it's like trying to pull teeth, you know what I mean, and I don't like bothering people like that, that's why you don't really see me promote this too much, and things like that, which could be a part of the reason why I haven't, um, seen as much success with it as I could have, but I urge people to check it out, you know, please help me achieve this goal, and 
so that I can entertain you guys better. So, that's that. So last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. So, I finally figured out a name that I'm going to reveal on, on my Twitter, so you guys keep your, your eye out for that. Uh, what the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel was going to be. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to start in September. We're going to start it in September uh, not after the new band is posted. That's going to be the first new video on there. Uh, and of course, I'm going to do a, a, like a channel trailer to promote and explain everything that I'm doing on that channel. If you're a fan of this, of the Yu-Gi-Oh! fanfic that I've produced on this channel over the years, you already are familiar with it, but still, you know, somebody new to the channel may not know, and I'm going to, you know, help with that. And all the Yu-Gi-Oh! content that is currently on this channel is just going to, is going to be archived on this channel. You know, no new Yu-Gi-Oh! content is going to be updated on this channel. It's going to its own Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, and I'm going to, uh, reveal what that is again on my, um, either on my Twitter or on the wait till next as we draw closer to, um, September in the new banners. So, most definitely, you guys keep eyes out for that, and uh, that's everything. Am I missing anything? This is James, channel, uh, plans for this channel, the video channel, and um, the go funny. So, I touch on everything. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys this week for more Fairy Sense of Elf and Star Ocean, and in the coming weeks, I'll see you guys for Deus X Mankind and Divided. And also Attack on Titan and Guardian 2. So, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I'll see you.